guess for starters, uh, I'm thinking, you know, trying to think of different ways to do different, sort of expand my range, I guess. Um, and I had, well, accents. Um, I had someone tell me once upon a time, and I think she was kind of thinking more along the lines of her, like, children's programming, but, like, don't do accents unless you are a native speaker, you know. Um, but then I know actors definitely do use accents, too. So, I mean, um, so I guess my questions are, what are your thoughts on should you or shouldn't you? And I guess also, if you should, do you have any, if you have to, do you have any advice for how do you pick up that kind of thing? I mean, how do you sort of research and practice? Well, I, I don't think in that case, um, if you're really proficient at a, at a dialect, go ahead and do it. They're not necessarily going to go for a native speaker because that native speaker may not have the, the chops to be able to carry it out. But you better be sure that you're really, really good at it because there are people in this business, Maurice LaMarche, um, I mean, a bunch of, a bu I think of Mo because Mo can do anything. He does, as you know, Orson Welles, uh, who he used for uh, Pinky in the Brain. Um, he's, a, he's a wonderful mimic and there are many, many people who can do that brilliantly. So unless you're really good at it, I would stay away from it. Um, uh, and there was another part of your question which I've forgotten because part of this business is it robs you of brain power. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whether it's politically correct and that depends yeah. upon uh, uh, the situation that you're in. I've been in both situations where again they will bring in native speakers to play parts because they feel that's the right thing to do but in some cases it's the wrong actor for the job. Um, in terms of training there are uh, uh, lots of dialect tapes uh, which is a great thing. Listen to the tape, work with the tape, and that can develop. If you've got the ear for it, mm -hmm. and that's the big thing is to have the ear for it. If you've got the ear for it. Now, uh, Dan and I went, to, I told you, to conservatory together, and we had... You know, and they must have done a good job, because we're both working. <laughs> it works! Wow! Uh, part of our training was voice and speech class, which included dialects, which included a phonetic alphabet which allowed you to transcribe certain sounds from one dialect to another dialect. Well, I'm very facile in dialects and I began to realize early on that I could just, once I knew the phonetic alphabet, I could, I could freehand uh, the, the transition from dialect to dialect without, you know, looking everything up and making everything. And then, I think you copied off my paper once. I did. <laughs> and I got an F. <laughs> Don't give me an opening like that. <laughs> it was a lob and a smash. <laughs> uh, but you know where your strengths are, and you want to maximize your assets and minimize your liabilities. If possible, make everything an asset. Who, whatever it is that you are, make that the one and only. But if if that includes a versatility in dialects, at a lot of times a native speaker, if chosen will not have the intelligibility because they're not, they're not savvy in recording. Uh, they don't need to be, you know, uh, but sometimes a trained uh, voiceover person will, will get the job because it, it, it's meaningless if it's not intelligible. You know, you can do a Cockney accent and you can be credible. Or oh, you can be a real lorry driver, you know. <laughs> if you go to the dialect tapes of actual native speakers, sometimes you'll know right away that there's no way that that could work in a, in a situation that needed to communicate something. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. Well, I, I just want to follow up on what, this is not necessarily about dialects, but I've seen, um, I've seen people, uh, producers bring in name actors for, for roles in uh, animation or what have you, and they're awful. They're, they may be the finest screen actor you've ever seen, but they have no idea how to work this area. And I've seen them have tremendous trouble with, with getting the, the performance out of these people. So, you know, that's another aspect of it. And let me say, also, as far as the dialect things go and, and native speakers and stuff, there are certain areas which there's no problem. You could do British, you can do Australian, you can do, uh, you know, French. Probably you're going to have trouble with Native American, um, you know, other smaller ethnic groups which they feel like they need to, to have the acknowledgement of. So it's a kind of a weird, if you're going to have to kind of, you know, decide for yourself, you know? Yeah. This is not a question, but I just wanted to add that, you know, we come here because we really love the characters, but it, it's really fun to actually get to meet you guys and see 
see, see who you are, you know, and meet you as people, and <laughs> not just think of, you know, Bumblebee, but also the actors. Well, it's fun for us to meet you. Yeah. Uh, the same goes the other yes, way. Yes, exactly that. Thank you so much.